Okay, so this is a short video on using the Passé Composé with negation. If you haven't done anything on the Passé Composé, it's worth looking at my videos on that before, or looking at some notes before. And again, if you haven't done anything on negation before, like ne and pa, then please look at that first before coming on to this video. Okay, so it's quite short, and it's very, very similar to the way we use it in the present tense. So let's just go through. So we know that the majority of the negation rules are that it goes around the first conjugated verb. When we say the first conjugated verb, the first changed verb from the infinitive, um, because it then encompasses things like uh, perfect tenses, in this case, the passé composé. So we've got two verbs in French in this in the passé composé. We've got the avoir, which, um, and then we've got the past participle. So it goes around that first part, the avoir or the être, depending on whether it's an avoir or an etre verb, and etre are the ones that obviously take uh, Mr. Van Trump um, verbs or the uh, reflexive verbs. So let's start with ne and pas. So if we have a look at this, we've got je n'ai pas mangé. So we've got the ne and the pas around the avoir, the auxiliary verb here, to say I haven't eaten. Um, so we have the auxiliary and then we've got the past participle. Note here that we've got the apostrophe because we've got those two vowels. The E disappears and then we put an apostrophe there as well. Just so you've got an example of être, um, we've got je ne suis pas allé. So we've got the ne and the part around the auxiliary être here. And we've got the past participle with that extra E if it's um, somebody speaking who's a, who's a lady or a girl. Um, no, no, here we don't have that um, apostrophe here because there's not two vowels, all right? So that's ne and pas. Ne rien, meaning nothing. Je n'ai rien mangé, I haven't eaten anything. So again, you've got the ne and ne rien around the auxiliary and then the past participle. And then I tried to find someone with um, the extra verbs here. So je ne suis rien monté, I've not gone up anything. It's the best answer I could, the best one I could think of. Um, I'm sure you've got other ones you could use. Um, so, but just to ex just the example is the ne and rien go around the the auxiliary verb être. Ne jamais, so never. So je n'ai jamais visité la cathédrale. Um, I've never visited the cathedral. So we've got the ne again with apostrophe. Jamais, never. Um, and then we've got the past participle. Again, I wanted to have an example where you've got être. So je ne suis jamais allé. Um, I've never been. Ne guerre, hardly. So je n'ai guère fini la conversation quand. I'd hardly finished the conversation. Or have I have hardly finished the conversation when. Um, so remember that avoir, uh, when we're doing the passé composé, it can be um, f I have finished or just I finished. And then we've got je ne suis guère tombé. Again, I tried hard to try and find some examples with the uh, être verse, but I have hardly fallen. Um, so if somebody's asking you uh, when you stumbled, or don't worry, I've hardly fallen. I've not hurt myself, just to give you any context for that. Ne plus, so no longer. Je n'ai plus visité la cathédrale. I've no longer visited the cathedral. So from this moment onwards. So again, we've got the ne and the plus around the auxiliary. And then one with that. Je ne suis plus allé. I've no longer gone there or I no longer went there. Okay, so you've got some examples of that. Um, so now we come to ones where, as in the present tense, they don't all go around the auxiliary verb. So ne all goes, it starts uh, before the auxiliary verb, so either av or etre. Then we have the past participle, so not like the others where the, uh, the other particles would go here. Then we have the past participle, then we have ni, le poisson, ni le poulet. So they go after the past participle in the passé composé. Je n'ai aimé ni le poisson, ni le poulet. And we've got ne personne, so nobody, so this is exactly the same. So we have still have the ne before the auxiliary. Then we have the past participle, and then we have personne, so the other part of the negative um, particles uh, at the end there. Je n'ai vu personne. I've seen, I haven't seen anyone. Or literally, I've seen no one. Ne que, so only. So again, the ne before avoir, the auxiliary, past participle, and then you've got que. Je n'ai mangé que deux tranches. I've only eaten two slices. And ne aucun, or aucune, if it's feminine. So again, the particle goes after the past participle. Je n'ai visité aucune cathédrale cette année. I haven't visited any cathedrals this year, or literally I have not, I've visited not one cathedral this year. Okay. And there are ones that we use where we have them at the beginning. So personne, so nobody. 
So if we use that in this context, we use obviously the he, she, it form with this one. Je n'ai uh, personne n'a mangé le gâteau. So we don't have another bit here. We just have the personne at the beginning, then the ne, again with the apostrophe there because the two vowels, and then the past participle, and then the uh, the object. Okay. And then uh, another one using the uh, using être. Personne n'est resté au château. So we've got the auxiliary être, we've got the ne particle with the apostrophe, and then we've got the past participle. And then rien, this is slightly harder to find examples for, but here we are. Rien d'important n'a commencé pour l'instant. So nothing important has started. So we've got rien de, and then our adjective, and then ne, and then we've got our auxiliary, and then the past participle. Okay, so that's the order they go through. If you're not sure, just go back and revise those ones and just check that you know where the positions are so that when you come to the practice, you've got more of an idea on how to put them together. Okay, so la pratique. Traduit les phrases suivantes. So we've got 10 phrases here using what we've just gone through. Um, have a go and then we'll go through the answers in a minute. Okay, so we've never eaten steak. Nous n'avons jamais, so around the past, the um, auxiliary verb, nous n'avons jamais mangé du steak. She has not played tennis. Elle n'a pas joué au tennis, so the ne and the part again around the auxiliary. They have hardly finished their dinner. Uh, ils n'ont guère fini le dîner. Uh, again, the past, uh, the negative particles around the auxiliary, ne and guerre. I have never arrived late. Je ne suis jamais arrivé en retard. So we've got the ne and the jamais again around the auxiliary et for this time. You have only spoken twice. Tu n'as parlé que deux fois. So remember this one when we're using only, it's ne before the auxiliary, then the past participle, then we have que, and then whatever we need at the end of that. I have not drunk any alcoholic drink. So again, this is similar to the one above, number five. So we put the ne before the uh, auxiliary verb. Then we have the past participle, then we have aucun or aucune in this case because boisson is feminine. We do not like the garden or the, or the house. So again, like the last two, we have the ne before the auxiliary, then we have the past participle, then we have ni and then whatever, and then ni and then whatever. So nous n'avons aimé ni le jardin ni la maison. Number eight, nobody went to the beach on Sunday. So this is one of those ones at the end there where we have this, we started with personne. Personne n'est allé à la plage dimanche. So we've got personne, then the negative particle, then we have the auxiliary, then the past participle, and then whatever we need to finish up the sentence. Nothing interested ha interesting happens. Rien d'intéressant ne s'est passé. So we've got the rien de plus our adjective. Then we've got the negative particle. Now this one to happen is uh, reflexive. So, and it's se passé. Um, so that's why we've got this uh, reflexive pronoun here before the auxiliary. So if we're looking at order here, we've got negative particle first, reflexive pronoun next, then the auxiliary, then the past participle. If you're not sure about reflexives, have a look at my video on reflexives to remind yourself. And number 10, I've never stayed in a hotel. Je ne suis jamais resté dans un hôtel. So we've got the ne and the jamais around the auxiliary. Okay, um, if you have any more questions, just post it in the comments below. Um, Otherwise, uh, just rewind it back and have another look through and see whether you get the idea. Okay.